Hello and welcome back to the We Are Sissy channel. Back again with the FIFA 21 career mode on PlayStation 5 by Manchester City. And of course, we are top of the Premier League table. And like we said in the last one, like the thumbnail showed, it's a classic Pep versus Jose title race. We've got 37, well, we, we've got 41 points. Spurs have got 37 points. Suppose when we're saying it's Pep versus Jose, things could go wrong for Spurs. And if you do, then Wolves are there and Chelsea are there. Wolves in a title race also. Newcastle, you usually expect to be down at the bottom. They're also in the title race. Liverpool, well, Atletico Madrid, City, they've, they've broken Liverpool. They're down in sixth place now. Liverpool, Manchester United, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer just signed a new contract all the way down in 11th place. And uh, a few underachievers, Cardiff, Bournemouth and Fulham, the sides of the bottom. Nottingham Forest, I assume, would be certainty at the bottom, but they're not. They're um, just above the relegation zone. We'll see what happens there. And our first game of today's episode is away, a tough one, to mid-table Crystal Palace. Well, this is the side we're going to go with against Palace. Edison starts in goal back four of Cancelo, Stones, Laporte and Teo Hernandez, Rodri, Gundogan and Bernardo Silva. This is how we're going to go with against Crystal Palace. Edison starts in goal back four of Cancelo, Stones, Laporte and Teo Hernandez. We've got Rodri Gundogan and Kevin De Bruyne, the captain in the middle. And it's Foden on the left, Mahrez on the right and Joao Felix up top. We've got Lukaku, Sterling, Bernardo Silva, Hussein Mawar, Walker and Ruben Diaz and Zach Steffen all on the bench today. A strong side and um, it's a, always a good place to go to Palace Sellers Park. The atmosphere is always rocking and uh, they always give you a good game. The, the fans are behind them but surely we can still pick up the three points today. So we arrive at Sellers Park for Manchester City versus Crystal Palace. Palace in 13th place, having a reasonably good season. And like we said before, Sellers Park, the stadium that's always rocking, the fans are always behind them. Teams to top scoring teams, look at that, we've got scored 61 goals, Liverpool in second with 38, Wolves with 37, Spurs and United. So United scoring goals actually. They're in the top five. But they're down in 11th place in the league and it must be due to the defending. Palace fans, they're hoping for an exciting game today. They've got Gaeta in goal. Nathan Ferguson, the Zika, Kuyate and Boateng at the back. Townsend, MacArthur, Campbell and Eze in the middle. And then it's Mateta and Hernandez, ex-Watford man up top. They've got Sacco, Ibai Gomez, Tomkins, Milivojevic, Benteke and Ayu all on the bench for Crystal Palace today. So a strong Crystal Palace side, one that could cause us problems, especially that two up top. In Mateta, in Hernandez, it's Manchester City versus Crystal Palace, and it's live from Sellers Park. Here's Hernandez again. Oh, inside, Teo Hernandez, and then Laporte wins this one back. And into Kevin De Bruyne. Gundogan, that's better from him. Raul Felix, De Bruyne, Bowden, Hernandez, Cancelo, oh, tried to lift it over the corner to Mares. would have been a really nice pass. Here's Teo Hernandez, from a range, oh, he tries from a close range to beat Gaita with power. I thought it was going out of play, there was no one in the box, I had no option but to hit it. Doesn't he hit that well? Good save by Gaita. Laporte sitting there, he just can't direct his header. Under pressure from Kuyate. Laporte in there again. And this time he's put it over the bar. He's, his footwork's slow at times, Felix, it feels, when it comes to releasing the ball. Something he needs to work on. De Bruyne. Mares Into De Bruyne. Oh, into Gaita who saves it. Comes out to Gundogan. Oh, and he can't edit into goal. Really good chance for Ilkay Gundogan. Already into double figures for the season, I think. Goals wise. Cancelo back to Mares. Good football. Cancelo in space here. De Bruyne. Foden. Cancelo. Oh, just couldn't get it under control. MacArthur clears. Hernandez with a great flick on. Here's Eze. Great bit of pace shown from Eze here. Away from Rodri. We're in trouble here on the counter. Good cross by Eze as well to Townsend. Good save, Edison. Brilliant goalkeeping. Edison's kept us in that there at 0-0. Wonderful save, Edison. Caught on the counter. Wonderful, wonderful save by Edison. Into Hernandez. Good knock on. Gundogan. De Bruyne. 
out wide to Mares. Takes it, stops it dead with that touch, Mares. Hernandez. Felix. Gundogan. Mares. Marcelo. So De Bruyne makes it 1 0. Great football. Really good football. Played through Palace there. Cut them open. We picked the extra pass a few times. Maybe he thought, we'll shoot, we'll shoot. No. We took our time. We picked the extra pass. And then we have a certain goal, don't we, when we get that final pass from Cancelo into De Bruyne. Brilliant work. De Bruyne there to finish. And 1 0 we lead Crystal Palace now. Like we said, a, a side that are really hard to play against away. I mean, we've dropped points, haven't we? In silly places, Cardiff and 0 0. Bournemouth we lost 2 0 at home, which wasn't really. Anything I had control of because I had sim the game. De Bruyne gets eight for the season. But Sellers Park's a tough place to come to and get three points. And we look like we're going to do it today. So far, anyway. Manchester City goal. Number 17, Kevin De Bruyne. Has eight. Four round stones. Roderick dives in. And Sello in there. Did some brilliant save again. I think he's offside, maybe. Campbell. He was. Edison's having a good gaming goal. Felix. Oh, God. Another poor pass from Felix. We need to somehow work on his, his passing in training. It's not working, is it? His passing's letting him down. Oh, Boateng. Just got a touch on Cancelo there. And that is half time. One that we lead. We've been better side. But Palace have looked dangerous at times. Jerome Felix is struggling up top with the link-up play, and that's what he should be good at. You know, that's what he's there for as the false nine. Lukaku's the different player, but at the moment, Lukaku feels like he links up with players better. Half-time, Manchester City 1, Crystal Palace 0. De Bruyne, Cancelo. Great ball at the top by Cancelo into Phil Foden. He's got to keep this in. He does. Gundogan. Hernandez. De Bruyne! Oh, just couldn't get the power in the shot. Good play. Just couldn't get the power in the shot, Kevin De Bruyne. Rodri's there anyway. To tidy that one up. Chance here for Palace again. There's eight. Laporte, brilliant tackle I'm there at Laporte. He's been fantastic. He really had every game. He's been so good. This is good football. Oh, Gundogan. Ruined it. Ruined it there, Gundogan. Here's Townsend. Rodri, big tackle. Big tackle, Rodri. Timed it perfectly as well. De Bruyne. Great pass out wide to Mares. He will get there. Into Cancelo. Joao Cancelo makes it 2 0. That should be game over now. Great work there. Joao Cancelo played in. By Riyad Mahrez. De Bruyne found him in space. And Cancelo, he loves to come inside, doesn't he? And he makes that run through the middle. And when he makes that run through the middle, Cancelo. They're all too busy marking Joao Felix. He can put it into the bottom corner. Really good player, man. Joao Cancelo. He scored quite a few goals, it feels like, this season. Maybe two or three already. Hodgson, he's not happy with that one. We will make a substitution. It's going to be Gundogan who's not playing great at the moment. For her same hour. I'm thinking De Bruyne. We rest him now and get Bernardo Silva on. And we'll see who comes on after that. 2-0 up. Should be game over. So here comes Gundogan for our And De Bruyne for Bernardo. Bernardo. Cancelo. Camara is running forward here. Here's Mares. Awa. Foden on his right foot. Oh, good shot. Good play. Ow, I picked the right pass there. Just couldn't finish it, Phil Foden. They're making a change. It's Milivojevic for MacArthur. Maybe they're hoping to get a penalty. Penalty specialist. Laporte in there. Stones in there. Guy to punches. Over the top it goes. Stones back to defend. Oh, he's bounced off Stones. That's poor by John Stones. Here's Mateta, good chip into Townsend, cuts it back to Eze. Brilliant goal from Palace, 
This game isn't over yet. That's a brilliant goal from Crystal Palace. Smart by Townsend as well not to shoot. I expected him to shoot. He cut it back to Eze, put it into an empty net. Great goal, no clean sheet again. Say when Anna's just left Townsend. 2 1. Eze's fifth of the season, and Palace will be confident they could get another one here. We need a third, I think, to close this game out now. How are? Cancelo. Bernardo. Rodri. How are? Rodri. Cancelo. Felix has made a run off him as well. Felix with a shot. It's a great save, guy. To tries to curl it into that far corner. And they're going to bring Ayu on for Mateta now. He's had a decent game for Crystal Palace today. Been a willing runner, hasn't he? Oh, John Stones, what are you doing? Townsend. Great tackle. The port saves us once again. How many times do we say that? Foden. So that space is Joao Felix. Why to Mares. Good time in the pass as well. Mares! Oh, what a finish by Riyad Mares. Dug that one out from the ground, didn't he? And put it into the top corner. It's this for Joao Felix. 3 1. That should be game over now. Great individual quality from Mares. That is some hit, isn't it? He sort of got the ball stuck under his feet a little bit here. But he hits it perfectly with a curl on it. No chance for Gaita. Wonderful finish. 3-1. Mahrez with a goal. Only his fourth of the season. But four's better than none. An important goal there from Riyad Mahrez. We will make our final substitution. It will be Riyad Mahrez. Off for Raheem Sterling. Good performance by Mahrez on that right hand side. For a few moments in the game. Important in the goals. And off. He comes now. It's an applause from the fans. 3-1 we lead now. 76 minutes. That should be the game. Dead and buried. Campbell. Big tackle. Stones. This is the second one. Rodri's had a great game midfield. Cutting out everything. Counters on. Felix is played in here. The young Portuguese player. Going to Cancelo. Wide to Hernandez. Felix, oh, lost the ball. So I killed that counter with the extra pass there. All over the top here. Laporte, ooh, mistake. Rodri in there. Well played, Rodri. And that is full time. A 3 1 win over Crystal Palace. A good result. A tough ground to go to. Another three points on the board as Spurs, Wolves, even Chelsea. Chasers try and stop us from retaining our Premier League title this season. Well, Joao Felix has completed his development from a centre forward to a striker. Which is good. So he can play in that position now. He's got five star skills, four star weak foot. And we want him to be. So how can we improve his passing here? Short pass ball control. Well, we're going to go for mobile striker. Improve his attacking positioning. And he's short passing. He's passing is the thing that's letting him down at the moment, isn't it? Well, next we go away to 18th Fulham to Craven Cottage. We are going to go into a simulation of this game, but not a quick sim. We are going to sim the match and jump in if we're necessary. We need to because quick sims don't always mean you win against relegation sides like Bournemouth as we've seen. And um, hopefully we can pick up the three points and get into the game after this, which is a big one against a side that have already beat us this season in Everton. This is the side I'm going to go with against Fulham. Edison starts in goal back four of Walker, Diaz, Ake and Zinchenko. Herrera, Gundogan and Bernardo Silva in the middle. And then it's Sterling, Lukaku and Mares up top. On the bench, Joao Felix, Ferran Torres, Kevin De Bruyne, Hussein Awa, Cancelo, John Stones and Zach Steffen. They could jump into this sim expecting three points at Fulham today. They're playing a five at the back. Badashele, the young French centre-back who's been signed from Monaco. He's very highly rated. No, Tosin Adebarayo. No, Joachim Anderson either. I think maybe they've not signed on a permanent from his loan from the end. They had a very good defence, I thought, for them. But at the moment, they managed to stay up last season. They've not improved the side that much, have they? Going to Raheem Sterling, who makes it 1-0 within 15 minutes. Great play from Sterling. His left-hand side drifted inside and was there to put the ball in the back of the net. 1-0 we lead after 15 minutes now. Gundogan. Sterling with a shot. It's a save. 
Cleared away. Back into the danger zone, though. They get a bit lucky there, Fulham. Here come Fulham, however. In space, crossing. Great block on the line by Nathan Ake. And he's blocked it off the line again. Wonderful play from the Dutchman. Back in the side again today. And he's playing really well. We can counter, however. Sterling. Bernardo. Good footwork. And then gives it straight back to them. Herrera's picked it up. However, and Yankel Herrera has put it in the top corner of Venezuelan. 2 0 lead Fulham at Craven Cottage. This is looking like a comfortable game so far. Going to get swung in. It's cleared away. And that is half time. Manchester City 2. Fulham nil at half time. We will make some changes to that first team, I feel. Well, the first change we're going to make is Lukaku off. We're going to put Sterling up top and Torres on that left hand side. I just want to rest Lukaku because we've got Everton next. And I'm going to bring Awar on for Gundogan as well to rest Gundogan for that game against Everton. Oh, deflection, how are... Ferran Torres, brilliant goal by Ferran. He's come on and scored. He's played more of a bit part in the first half of the season. I'm going to try and get him as involved as I can in the second half. Of course, Mahrez has been class on that right-hand side and phone on the left-hand side. And Sterling, of course, is the backup to them two then. Here's Fulham, great ball down the line here. Chance for them. Working their way into the box. Ake's there again. Ake's had a really good game at the back. Impressive again. Ball in here by Fulham, but it doesn't matter. He's offside. I thought it was full time. Surely it will be. Now it is. Manchester City 3, Fulham 0. Goals from Sterling early on. Jan Kelleraya in the midfield. And Ferran Torres in the 63rd minute to give us a 3 0 win at Craven Cottage. Lisa Cabore has agreed to join Leverkusen a short loan with an option to buy, I think, at the end of that. So that's good to see. Issa Kabore getting some game time. He will move in January. And now this is a big one, a game against Everton, a side that battered us last time. I mean, they get, they get two good free kick chances, didn't they? But even so, a side that we want to beat to show that we are in the title race and beat Ancelotti today and outdo him tactically because the first leg, or the first game of the season that he played against us, they did us, didn't they? Well, Everton have already beat us this season, so I've changed things up just for this game to see how things work against Everton. Like I said, they, they did beat us, didn't they? And I... It didn't work, I don't think, in that game. So this is what we're going to go with. Edison starts in goal. Back three of Stones, Diaz and Laporte. Hernandez and Cancelo on the wings. We've got Rodri, Gundogan. De Bruyne is the midfield three. And then it's Lukaku and Felix. The first time these two guys make an appearance together. Play up front together. Let's see how they get on playing together. I think it might really work. On the bench, however. Change the bench around a bit. Mars and Foden on the bench with Bernardo Silva, Awa, Walker and Ake. And actually what I might do is... I might put Sterling in there ahead of Mahrez just because Sterling can play more as a strike if we need him. That's a good side, I think. And hopefully, this time, we can beat Everton. And there are the players warming up for a big game against Everton. A side we dropped points against. Only It feels like only a few weeks ago, doesn't it? In the season. But they're back again. This time, we play them at home. And no doubt, they're going to cause us problems again. So at the Etihad Stadium... The fans are ready. It's Manchester City versus a Merseyside side in Everton. And hopefully we don't drop any points there. We're still five points clear of Spurs at the top. If we were to lose today or to draw today, that just narrows the gap down, doesn't it? To a, something that makes us a bit uneasy at the moment because we're so far ahead. We haven't had anything to worry about. And we will be worried if we drop points today. And Lukaku and Felix there. Their first game starting together. It's going to be very interesting seeing those two playing as a strike force. There is the team. I'm a bit of a talk, and of course, the player to watch is Lukaku. He's got 15 goals so far this season. Second top goal scorer with Harry Kane top with 16. He's been a really good signing for us as Romeo Lukaku. And I've seen that Sigurdsson, Richarlison are all in this Everton side once again today. Which could be a massive issue. We can't give free kicks away on the edge of the box, can we? We cannot make that mistake. And it was I'm Eric Laporte who made that mistake. So Manchester City versus Everton. And it's live from the Etihad Stadium. Well, three points. Beckons us today. I'm hoping we get it. I'm really hoping we are going to beat Everton. But you can never be sure with this Everton side. And here's De Bruyne. Felix. They were terrible in the first half against us. And then just came back out in the second half. Lukaku, great ball. Cancelo. He just keeps that in. Rodri, Gundogan, Rodri again and Gundogan. 
Lukaku. Felix. Oh, he goes back to Lukaku. Lukaku somehow hasn't scored. He should have scored there, Romelu Lukaku. Really should have scored. Rodri. Felix. Oh, tries to go back to Cancelo. Blocked away from Josh King. You also had a good game against us. Cancelo's nicked it, though. Felix. Lukaku! And what a goal that is. Well, he's missed an early chance. A City, you would have said. That wasn't even aimed for him from Felix. It was aimed to Kevin De Bruyne at the far post. But he crosses it in, Drow Felix, after Cancelo does the hard work winning it back. Just a little lofty cross. And Lukaku, great finish over his shoulder. Just side foots it in. It's so calm, isn't it, from Lukaku. He's such a smart finish. We'll see it here. Easy finish by Lukaku. Pep celebrates in a fancy coat today. It's Pep Guardiola. Lukaku gets number 16 for the season. Level with Harry Kane now. He scored against Everton last time, though. We didn't win, so we need to stay concentrated. I'll play there. Diaz out wide to Teo Hernandez. He's hardly touched the ball, I feel. Teo Hernandez on his left-hand side. Everything at the moment's going through Joao Cancelo. Well, there's a chance now for Teo. Hernandez. Great crossing to Cancelo. Oh, good save by Pickford. Aim towards the bottom corner. Cancelo. Wonderful save by Pickford. Here's Laporte. Crosses one in. Lukaku makes it 2-0. Well, this is the first time we've really thrived off crosses into the box. Playing this formation with the wing-backs. The, the left and right midfielders that are playing sort of like wing-backs. And Cancelo and Hernandez can get crosses in. Laporte's played brilliantly there. Aggressive defending. Wins it off a wall. But Lukaku's just stood in the middle. That's his job. And he finishes it again. 17 goals for Lukaku. Good cross in. He's prolific, isn't he? He really is prolific. We knew that when we signed him. Him and Felix up top looks like a quite a good combination as well. Two strikers together. And number 17 now for the Belgian striker. Kabaman. Strength against Laporte. Stone's in there. Kabaman again. Diaz in there. Great play. Felix. De Bruyne. Lukaku. Hernandez. Gundogan. Oh, into De Bruyne. Back to Ilke. Gundogan who slides it into the bottom corner. 3-0. Surely we're beating Everton today now. Surely we are beating Everton today. Brilliant football from Gundogan. And De Bruyne. And De Bruyne unselfishly sets him back up. Gives Gundogan another goal. We'll see it here. This is a great ball by Gundogan into De Bruyne. But he carries on his run, Gundogan. And De Bruyne puts it back to him. And he slides it into that bottom corner. Look at the gap there. Pickford closes the gap. There's no problem for Ilkay Gundogan. Ancelotti knows this today. We've had him. And maybe this formation we play against the teams that have beat us this season. Like maybe we play this way against Manchester United and see if that works. And then the games where we never win. We play this formation. Seems to be a... Working really well, doesn't it? Against the sides that have beat us. The sides that sometimes just get the better of us. Counter-attacking sides, usually. Manchester United, definite big counter-attacking side. Lukaku, brilliant play. Felix, through to Lukaku. Going to get his hat-trick, is it? Oh, he sets up Joao Felix. Oh, he should score, Joao Felix. He should score. Oh, Lukaku with a shot. De Bruyne at the far post. Oh, what a finish. What a finish from De Bruyne. Lukaku there. I thought he was putting that into the far corner. It was great football again. Good save. De Bruyne, how has he put it in from this angle? Has he hit the bar that? What a finish from De Bruyne. We'll see it here. It hits the, just the underneath of the bar as it's entering the net. What a finish from De Kevin De Bruyne. Number nine for the season now for the midfielder. Ridiculous finish. That's a 4 0 lead over Everton. Well, we've given them absolutely no chance today. Been ruthless compared to that first game. In the port. Managed to make its way to Felix. De Bruyne. Teo Hernandez. Hernandez crosses one into Lukaku. Oh, he's put that into Rosehead. On his right foot. Whew. Great cross by Hernandez. He was looking for the top corner there. We should have scored that Lukaku. We'll let him have one. 
That was a glorious miss, wasn't it? As he rockets that into the top corner, into the Everton fans. Felix, great block. De Bruyne. Lukaku. Lukaku with the power. With the pace. And with a rocket of a shot. To make it 5-0. Another goal against Everton for him. And we will probably sim this second half. Ridiculous performance here. Lukaku played in on his left foot. Just, I just put all the power I could into that. I risk of putting it over the bar. But we know how good he is. I mean, look, Pickford's got no chance. He nearly went through the net. He hit that so hard, did Lukaku. Number 18 for the season. Number 5 for City today. Wonderful performance from him up top. Goal for Manchester City. De Bruyne. Teo Hernandez. Bursting forward, Teo. Into Lukaku. And it's good defending by Yere Mina. Lukaku feels like he could have had a hat-trick there. De Bruyne swings one in. Lukaku with a header. Oh, he scored again. 6-0. Destruction of Everton. Absolute destruction. It's Lukaku with the hat-trick. 6-0. What a finish from the header. I knew he was going to score that from the corner then. He's so good in the air. He's so good on the floor. He's just the best all-round striker I've used. I know Holland. We used him on the PS4 career mode. But Holland wasn't an all-rounder. He couldn't pass. He really couldn't pass. Whereas Lukaku can do everything. He's good at everything. And that's a wonderful header. A wonderful header from Lukaku. It really is. He just rises. He's stronger than everyone else. It's just so easy for him. Number 19 for the season. Nearly at 20 goals already. 45 minutes played. Half time. Manchester City 6. Everton 0. Well the players are not happy are they? They weren't happy about that defeat at Goodison Park against Everton. And they've turned up today and they've put in a ridiculous performance. And Kevin De Bruyne has been ridiculous in the midfield. The whole team has been so good. And we will jump to result here with 6-0 up. Surely it doesn't finish 6-0. It does finish 6-0. Oh, Ilkay Gundogan goes and gets himself sent off in the 90th minute. So he'll miss a game in the future. But it's still a 6-0 win. We'll take that Lukaku hat-trick and a clean sheet as well. Gundogan will miss the next game. Well, it's the 31st of December and we're about to hit the 1st of Jan. And one thing I have noticed is, contract-wise, we have been given an email and maybe it's time to renew the contracts in this window because Stones has only got seven months left in his contract, an 86-rated centre-back. And Zach Steffen, 80-rated, has only got seven months left in his contract. Now, Steffen maybe won't stay at the club forever because, as we know, he's probably too good to be second choice. But we definitely want to give him a new contract. We don't want to be leaving him, losing him on a free anyway. Let's negotiate a deal with Zach Steffen. He wants a sporadic role. He's, if he wants that, he can have that. He wants a one-year extension. Well, we want him on a two-year extension. We want to keep him safe. Zach Steffen is happy with that one. No release clause for Zach. And wages-wise, probably, he probably does deserve to go up in wages. We'll give him 70000 per week. Bit of a rise and he's 62000 He was 77 rated, wasn't he, when he signed that contract? He's now 80 rated. And that is happy. So Zach Steffen signs a new deal at the club. An extra two years. He's got two years and seven months left now. Now for John Stones, who deserves a new contract, who needs a new contract. We're not letting him go anywhere, John Stones. He's on 155000 per week. He's 86 rated, however, now. He's an important first team player. Him and his agent will take that one. He wants a three year extension. But what about a four year one, John? We want you at the club for a long, long time. Four year extension works for John Stones. No release clause for John. And then finally, his wages. And once again, we'll give him a £10,000 update or increase per week. And John Stones accept that. So that's the two main contracts we needed to get done. The Stones and Stefan one. Now, contracts are a bit worrying because look at all these players we've got on one year and seven months. A lot. So I don't know if we start working on these contracts now. I mean, Ruben Diaz, he's getting a new contract. He's getting an extension for as long as we possibly can get him on. Crucial first team player, the 88 rated centre-back. Probably the future captain of the club. He wants a two-year extension. Let's get him on a three-year one. He's only 24 years of age at 88 rated. It's ridiculous how good he is. No release clause for Ruben Diaz. The salary-wise. I think he deserves a bit more than John Stones. We'll go to 170. He is 88 rated. 
And he's happy with that. So Ruben Diaz signs a new deal as well. That's great. Making progress with these. Scott Carson. I'm not going to give him a new deal quite yet. Kevin De Bruyne has only got one year and seven months left on that contract. He'll be 32, 33 at the end of this deal. I feel like he'll still be a top player at that stage of his career. So we'll try and give him a one or two year extension to get him to around 35. Then we don't have to lose him on a free transfer. Because he will still be worth money when he's 35 years of age. What about a three year extension? He wants a one year extension. We'll definitely get him on a two year one then. They always accept one more than what they've asked for. No release clause with De Bruyne. Happy with that one. Financial terms. He wants to be highly paid. Of course, City have got this problem at the moment in real life. I think 400000 per week sounds fair, doesn't it, for the world's best midfielder. And it's accepted. No bonuses either. De Bruyne has signed a new deal. We're doing well with these contracts, actually, at the moment. Gundogan as well. 31 now. He'll be 33 at the end of his contract. But he'll only have... Um, at this time next year, he would only have seven months left in his contract. And I feel like he'd still be highly rated then. Let's negotiate it. It's about protecting our assets, really, as a football club. You know, if you want to sell Gundogan, that's fine in the future. I think he will want crucial. No, he's happy with important. But, you know, if we do sell Gundogan or any of these players, we want to get them some money for them, in fact. You know, we, we can't let them go on a free di free deal. He's happy with a two-year extension. He's Ulkai Gundogan. No release clause for the German. And finally, wage-wise, another increase for him. He's now 89 rated now, 200,000 per week. And he accepts that. These players are so happy at the club. We find it really easy to extend the contracts. Claudio Gomez, I'm not so sure on. I think he's actually agreed a loan with an option to buy Esni in January anyway. He's grown to 69 rated now, which is quite good for him. Riyad Mahrez. I think he deserves a new contract, doesn't he? The way he's playing. 30, rated, eight, 30 years of age, 87 rated. Again, we need to protect our star players from being pried away from the club. Important squad role for Mahrez. He's happy with that one. Should we say a two-year extension for Riyad? Again, the Algerian winger is happy with that one. No release clause. These contract negotiations are very easy when the players are happy. What is he on? We'll bump him up to 200,000 from the 190. You will accept that, surely. So Riyad Mahrez signs a new deal. I know he's 30. It just means when it comes to selling, we can actually get some money for him. Anyone else here now? Aguilar's a youngster. We'll just delegate the youngsters. He wants to go up to 12,000. What about five? 5,000 two-year extension. Clube Aguilar signs. Liam lap. We're going to negotiate this one, shall we? We'll delegate it. He wants 44,000. Let's go to 20. He's definitely one for the future. 31,000 a two-year extension. He's on a three-year and seven-month deal now. Jaden Braff. I'm a bit unsure on because it looks like he's going to be on his way out. PSV, the same as Claudio Gomez. Joe Hodge, we will delegate a renewal because he's definitely one for the future, Joe. 4,000 per week, a two-year extension for that one. And then finally, this one's a big one, Sterling. Again, the same issue as De Bruyne. If we're going to sell him, we want money for him. He wants an important squad role. The English left winger, which we'll accept. We'll try a three-year extension. He's only 27 years of age. He'll take that one, Raheem. No release clause. Fine by me. And finally, wages. Let's bump him up to 200. The same as Mares. I think it's deserved. So Sterling gets a new contract. And that's the contract situation sorted out just before January as well. If we had gone into January, Stones and Stefan on seven months. And then those players running down as well. By the time you get to next season... You could be losing players, couldn't you, on free transfers. And we don't want to be doing that. We fast forward now to the 1st of January. And plenty of emails coming through with squad reports and players leaving on loan. So let's have a look at our monthly squad report. These are the youth players we've got in the youth team. Well, this man, Diego Ayala, looks a top one. The same goes for Jose Pereira. Marshall, not so impressive, or as impressive anyway. The Costa, it's a no. Despite being 62 rated. Langley's not too bad. These are alright as well. It's the current range at the moment. This is why Pereira and Ayala are standing out to me at the moment. So Issa Kabore is left on loan to Bayer Leverkusen. Tommy Doyle is left on loan to West Ham. Jaden Braff has returned to Paris uh, to, to PSV, sorry. 
in the, the Dutch league. We've got Felix Nemetschuk going to Leeds, which is good game time for him. Claudio Gomez going to Sassuolo in Italy. And of course, Dario Sarmiento going to Villarreal. So a lot of game time, hopefully, for those youngsters to come back in a few years in the future and impress. And we've got our first game of 2022, and it's an FA Cup game against Luton. We've not been doing well in the, in the Cup competition. We got knocked out of the Carabao Cup. So I am going to play this one as our final game of the episode against Luton and hope we can beat Luton today with a, a weaker side and give a chance to the young players. I like playing with some of the young players because you, you then get to see whether they're good enough for the future or if they're not. You know, if they, they're bad already, then they're not going to be great in the future, are they? So let's play this game against Luton. We try to not make as many mistakes as we did last time against Norwich. We've still put our strong side. We've got a couple of strong players on the bench to come on if needed. So it's Zach Stefan in goal. Kyle Walker, Taylor Howard Bellis, who comes in. He's a bit unhappy with his game time. Hopefully we can get a loan for him. Nathan Ake and Zinchenko, the back four. We've got Herrera, Bernardo Silva and Awa. So we're still very strong midfield. The lap up front, Torres on the right and Cole Palmer on the left-hand side. Then on the bench, we've got Quadwo Bar, who could make his debut. He's run to 70 rating now since we signed him. Looks a very good player, doesn't it? And he's only um, 18 years of age, six foot. We've got Morgan Rogers, of course, on the bench. Phil Foden, De Bruyne, in case we need them. The same for Cancelo and Stones. And, of course, our third choice keeper, Scott Carson. A few players have actually grown. Bazunu is now 70 rated as well. Kuto is 71 rated. Some players that need loans, need first-team opportunities to really impress. So, at the Etihad Stadium, a chance for some of our younger players to really impress today in a game against Luton Town. Of course, we've got some of the big boys on the bench in case we need them. But, surely, this side should beat this Luton Town side pretty easily, although we said that against Norwich, didn't we? And that didn't quite work out. We well, you know the way we line up today, but let's have a look at how Luton line up. James Bree at fullback can play what once dubbed the next John Stones. They've got Dan Potts, Lockyer, Matty Pearson at the back. Raya Morrill and Tunnicliffe in the middle. Adebayo up top with Clark on the right and Moncler on the left. It's Shea in goal. A strong Luton side for them. Pretty much their first team. So Manchester City versus Luton Town. It's live from the Etihad Stadium. Into Zinchenko. Awa. Bernardo. Palmer. Great work by Palmer. Into Bernardo. Silva. Oh, shot. It's blocked. Saved. Somehow. Great work by Palmer. Great footwork. Glides across the ground as Cole Palmer. Been a very good midfield for us. 83 rated now, Jan Kellerea. Awa. Great burst away. Awa into the lap and the lap just scores, doesn't it? That's what the lap does. He scores goals 74 rated already. And he could get to maybe, ooh, I think maybe 75, 76 by the end of the season. I'm hoping maybe someone takes him just on a bit of a loan. Get him some game time in the Premier League. Let, get him scoring goals. Awa bursts away here from the player into the lap. It's a tapping for Liam the lap. Pretty much every time he plays, he scores only two wonderful goals in the Carabao Cup. In that first appearance of the season he made. And one that we lead Luton within eight minutes. Really good from Liam Delap. Ferran Torres here on the overlap. Ferran. Oh, it's a poor one. Oh, Cole Palmer's managed to turn. Gets a shot off. Awa. What's going on here? Is it a free kick? Oh, Awa's offside, is it? Takes some time to give those offside decisions, don't they? Well, it's a wonderful ball over the top. Zach Steffen's out. He catches it. Gets lucky. He's offside the Luton player, but that's a really nice ball over the top there. Here's Bernardo. Into the lap. Wide to Ferran. Bernardo. Herrera. Awa. Palmer. Zinchenko with a strike. He's a save by the goalkeeper. Good setup for Zinchenko there. Corner ball. Herrera's in there again. Cleared away. Palmer. Nowhere to go for Cole. Bernardo. Awa. Palmer. Bernardo. Awa. Oh, Cole Palmer. Playing well on that left-hand side. And Delap there had a chance. Just couldn't beat the man. Bernardo. Ferran. Awa. Zinchenko. Nowhere to go. Awa. 
Through to Palmer. Oh, what a goal from Cole Palmer. I think he's offside, the youngster. He did really well there, did Cole Palmer. A little one-two with Awa. Made a great run. Put it into the far corner. He must be a fraction offside. Oh, that is very harsh. Very, very harsh against Cole Palmer. VAR. They've seen that one. Ball down the wing here. Adebayo. Oh, flicks it over Zinchenko. Kyle Walker's there to intercept. Oh, it's a penalty. How is this a penalty? Is it a handball against Kyle Walker? Has he pushed out of IO? We'll see it here. Oh, it does hit his hand, doesn't it? It's harsh. It's very harsh. Luton with a chance to get back in this game. Moral. Oh, it's Zach Steffen with another penalty save in the in the cup. He saved one against Norwich, didn't he? Scrambles Steffen. Dives across his goal. Left hand. Palms it away. Well played, Stefan. Still a chance here, though, for Luton. Yanga Larea on the end of that one, though. Walker. Oh, it's another penalty. Kyle Walker's given away another penalty in the space of two minutes. Well, he's having a disaster class, is Kyle Walker. <sighs> Kyle, what are you doing? We know he's reckless at times, Walker, but... This one here. He's already taken the shot. Penalty number two. Will he go the same way, Warrell? Oh, he's put it over the bar. Well, we get very, very lucky here. Penalty number two is missed by Luton. Over the bar by Warrell. Stefan went the wrong way. He's gone straight down the middle, did Warrell. And he's missed two penalties now for Luton. Surprised he took it. I think they want to give it to someone else. Great play. Bernardo, Cole Palmer. He's having some performance here, Cole Palmer. On his left foot with a strike. It's handball. It's a penalty for us. Well, this is ridiculous refereeing performance, isn't it? He's given two penalties to Luton. The second one probably was a penalty by Walker. The first one was a very unlucky handball. Palmer's hit one here. Oh, but he's put his hands up though, hasn't it? He? he has put his hands up here, the Luton defender. Who's going to take this one? I don't know if we should have to lap on it. He missed the penalty, didn't he, in the, in the Norwich shootout. The lap, he's not missing that one. 2 0. Liam Delap doesn't miss that one from the spot. He did miss one in the shootout. He aimed for the top corner, and the keeper, I mean, did really well. I think it was Tim Cruel, the penalty specialist, to save it from the corner. This time, the lap goes into the bottom corner, gives the keeper the eyes, sends him the wrong way. Nice 2 0 lead Luton at half time. Surely the half time whistle is going to get blown pretty soon now. As soon as it kick off, the last kick of the game was the penalty. Manchester City 2, Luton 0. They've missed two penalties and we've scored one. And then the lap scored a tap in as well. Awa is pulling the strings in midfield. I think Cole Palmer's having a fantastic game on the left hand side as well. 2 0 at half time. Cole Palmer. Good play by Cole. And he works it wide to Ferran. Sorry, he's had a really good game. Ferran tries the skill. Oh, he gets away with it. Gets away with it twice, Ferran. He's still going. They clear it away. Ferran a bit clumsy on the ball there. Managed to work his way through. Herrera. The lap! Oh, it's just wide of the post. Great power from Liam the lap. Thought he got his hat trick there. Good nod on. They've not been that bad actually, Luton. Look at this. Kyle Walker clears. They had all these players in that position there. Poor touch by Palmer. Chance again. Ake with a tackle. 2-1. They're back in this game. Ah, oh, Luton. They've looked dangerous today. They, should, they deserve a goal. Okay, with a the tackle there. He's powered that one into the, side, the back of the net. Side netting as well. Joe Morrill. That who missed the penalties. He missed two penalties but scored a goal. Going for Luton. 80 minutes played. And we are going to make two substitutions. I'm going to bring Kinsella on at this left-hand side for Zinchenko. I'm going to bring Rodgers on as well. For Ferran Torres. We're going to put Barr on the right-hand side. Rodgers on the left-hand side. 
bit more physicality up top, I think, in, in Morgan Rogers. Kinsella, an experienced player on this left-hand side. Into Quadwell Bar. He's pacey, the young man. Into the lap who finishes the game 3 1. Good pace from Bar. The lap with a hat trick. This young man scores pretty much every chance he gets. Good work from Quadwell Bar and Cole Palmer. No need to panic as much anymore now, I suppose. Good cross across the box by Bar as well. It's a good finish by the lap, as it usually is from this man. Give him a chance, he will score. In the right place at the right time again, Liam Delap. 3-1. Three, Three goals for him. How are Camargan Rogers in space here? Here comes Rogers. Here he comes, young Rogers. Rogers! Oh, what a finish from this young man. Uses the power to go straight down the middle. Great goal by Morgan Rogers. Very impressive young man. Impressed at Lincoln last season. Hopefully he can get a good loan in. Again, what a finish that is. The power he puts in that shot there. Rockets that one in. No chance for the keeper, really, is it? With the power he puts in that. 4-1, it's the youngsters who scored. The lap and Rogers. Great finish from the winger. So many left wingers in this squad. So many attacking players. We've got youngsters. Ake in there. Not it away. And that is full time. A 4 1 win over Luton. We made it look easy with those two goals at the end. We did struggle for most of the game. And Liam Delat gets his first career senior hat trick. And he's only second ever start as a player. What a player he is, Liam Delap. And that is a 10.0 rating for Liam Delap. He has been absolutely fantastic today. A hat trick. He was perfect, wasn't he? Across the field. Great winning. Congratulations. No question. All the headlines will be about the lap performance. Were you surprised to see him weigh in with a hat trick? It was a pretty breathtaking display. Real good player, the lap. Real good player. One definitely for the future. Impressive four goal win. We deserved our goals today. We did deserve all four goals. I just felt that we did struggle, didn't we, throughout that game. And that is going to end today's episode. So thank you very much for watching. Liam the lap. Remember the name. Please do subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.